I'm sure you've all heard about the trending hashtag, Oscars So White. So what's all the fuss about? Well, for the second year in a row, nominations have failed to recognize any minority actors. So that must mean minority actors haven't made any good movies this year, right? Wrong. This year, movies that specifically celebrated black talent like Straight Outta Compton and Creed excelled at the box office, grossing just as high and at times higher than so-called white films. Despite the amazing acting in these films, black actors like Michael B. Jordan went unnoticed by the Academy. Making matters potentially worse, the recognition these movies did receive were solely for their white components. White writers received nods for Straight Outta Compton and Sylvester Stallone for Creed. And most of all, I want to thank my imaginary friend Rocky Balboa for being the best friend I ever had. <laughs> this year's nominations have certainly led to a public outcry, and many celebrities use the power of their Twitter accounts to tell the world how they feel. Some examples of celebrity reactions. Diversity is the American superpower. That's why we are great. People of color are not sassy or dangerous or wise, and believe me, people of color are never anybody's sidekick in real life. We need to have more diverse stories. Is the whole point is to share an element of human experience. We can't be just telling stories about one group of people. Unfortunately, we see films that are set in Chicago, New York, Atlanta, in big metropolitan cities, and they're void of people of color, really. What does the next generation of content creators think about this issue? We went to the students at USC School of Cinematic Arts to find out. If you look at the statistics and the history of the Oscars, you could say that I think most of them are probably white, and that's probably based on racism, systematic institutional racism in America. I'd like to see more like goofy female characters, comedic characters, because most of them now have to fit into some kind of like sexy or pretty or whatever trope. What needs to happen is we need to start having more female or people of color behind the camera as well as people writing for people of color because like the issue is that there aren't enough roles and um, it's super easy for us to write for the white male just because we identify most with it because that's where it's been. His entire time. If the students at USC Cinema School are any indication of the future of entertainment, a brighter and more accepting future is certainly upon us.